What we're going to learn today is how you can install Kali Linux directly into your phone. I kid you not, you have to watch to the end because the last time I did this, I got blocked from YouTube. I got banned. The content got taken away because it was that crazy. Wait, what? You don't believe me? I thought we were best friends forever. But actually it wasn't that crazy, it was something pretty simple. I don't know why they decided to block it away. It's because I was too good looking. So right in front of us, we have a device. And all you have to do right now is go over and open up Play Store, because this is that easy. And then after which you enter, not Kyle Linux or Hacker Alloy, but enter Termux. And once you hit enter on that, you can see right here. All right, so go ahead and click install on that. And once you do that, give it a while, depending on your connection, and then there you go, done, install. Open it up and you'll be able to see it directly from your device. And there you go, you have a cool looking console and your friends will now think you're a hacker, but not yet. What you have to do now is take it to the next level. So once you're in here, all you gotta do now is enter app update, all right? And once you hit enter on that, you notice something wrong is going on. And that's okay. What you have to enter instead is change the repository. So this is the place where we can get all the sources of our updates into our software. All you gotta do is enter Termix, follow by dash change dash repo, hit enter on that. And just go ahead and select everything because everything is going to be better than nothing. So click OK on that. All right. And we have mirrors hosted by other providers. So go ahead and select somewhere else. Click OK on that. And it stays the following running app update. And now we're able to successfully download from there. Now go ahead and enter app upgrade dash Y. Hit enter on that. And it stays the following. All right. We're now downloading from the sources to repositories that we have updated. So give it a while. And anytime there's a prompt, go ahead and enter yes so that the downloads get into your device. So here's an example, All right? You stays the following, the default action is to keep the current version, just go ahead and hit enter on that, and it will select the default option for you, okay? And you'll see a couple more of these pop-ups, just go ahead and use those default options. If you wanna select and read up further, that's absolutely fine. So here's another one. The default action is to keep your current version. Hit enter again, and that's it, All right? It continues moving on for us, and boom, done. Next up, what we need to do now is to give the application permission to your phone storage. So go ahead and enter Termux Setup Storage, hit enter on that, and you see a pop-up right at the bottom. Go ahead and select Allow. And that's it, done. Next up, what you wanna do now is to be able to install the blue get. So enter PKG install the blue get. That's it, go ahead and enter yes to continue. And what WGET does for us is that it goes over into the target website and download the files that we want it to do. So pretty simple, it's a downloader. Next up, which is even simpler, you're now using WGET to target the following website to download the install NetHunter Termix. Go ahead and hit enter on that, and you can see right now we're downloading. And in fact, we have downloaded right now, it's done. And what you want to do now is you can enter LS. All, all these different Linux commands, you can easily use them right here. And you can see right here, we have the following of install NetHunter Termix. So what you want to do now is to provide executable permissions so that you can execute on this file. So let's go ahead and enter chmod plus x install net hunter termux. Hit enter on that and that's it. It's really easy. And here comes the final piece. All you have to do is enter dot slash install dash net hunter. Hit enter on that. Enter the image that you want. So let's go ahead and go for full. Enter one. Hit enter on that. Checking package dependencies is now going to download, which will take a while for it to complete. So be patient. And if you reach this part, you are pretty safe, okay? It's going to take a little while more for the extraction to the root FF. While we are at it, I just want to highlight that hacking is illegal. If you get caught hacking, do not tell them you know who's Mr. Hacker Loy. And once you reach this stage, all right, go ahead and enter. No, whatever, you can just leave it as default and just go ahead and hit enter, which is a magic trick that I just taught you. And that's it, you're a ton. We now got Kyle Linux installed into our phone. As simple as that. And all you gotta do now is go ahead and hit Net Hunter, hit enter, and you can see this familiar prom right now, Kali at localhost. Who am I? I am Kali. This is it. We're able to do a lot of different types of attacks right now. I can even do a ping, loyalyangyang.com, and you can see the following. All right, we got the response coming in from the server. So we connected the internet and we can do a lot of things from here. I can also do a simple scan on the website or on any of the devices within the network. But I know what you're thinking. You want the graphical user interface, just like how I've always demonstrated to you. No worries, let me show you how to do just that. What you want to do now is go through your favorite browser and you can go in through store.nethunter.com and go ahead and select this button called Download Store App. Click on that 
go ahead, in this case I've already downloaded it, but I can download again to show you the whole process one more time. When the file is downloaded, click open, all right, click install, okay, now we're installing, and just give it a moment, and we are done with the installation. So this allow us to remotely connect to the NetHunter that we've installed into the phone. Go ahead and click open on that, all right, and you can see the following here, updating repositories and whatnot. And what you want to look out for here now is the ability to remotely connect to the Kali Linux server that you have to give you the beautiful graphical user interface. So what you can do here now is go ahead and select under NetHunter CAX, okay? Go ahead and select install to start download, so on and so forth, 10.9, and that's it. Go ahead, go to settings, all right? It states the following, install unknown apps. So scroll down, you can see right here, we have NetHunter store, allow it, go ahead and select install, and that's it. This gives us the remote connectivity capability or client to connect to the server on Kyle Linux. So that's amazing. Now what we need to do is just set a password. So here what we can do is enter NetHunter CAGS, pass WD, hit enter on that password. Let's call it Hacker Loy. Hacker Loy again, hit enter. Would you like to enter a view only password? Enter no for that. All right, so that's it, done. And now what we want to do is just start up the server by entering NetHunter CAGS followed by N, hit enter on that. Okay, and of course, the default port is going to be 5901. So what we can do now is we can hit back over into the NetHunter store. All right, so once we go over to NetHunter store, go to NetHunter CAX, click open. And once we're in here, click allow to access photos, media, and files on your device. Click OK on that. And what we can enter now is we can enter the following of 5901. All right, and of course, right here, we can enter the password. So in this case, HackerLoy. Go ahead and click connect, and boom, that's it, we're in. We are literally in Kali Linux right now. This is all operated from the phone, from your phone. This is amazing. If you see right here, what we can do now is I can go ahead and open up like terminal or whatnot. All right, so I can enter terminal, terminal emulator. I hit enter on that. So we're in right here now. And what I can do is I can try to zoom in a little more so it's easier for you to see and enter say ping loyliangyang.com and again we get the same result we can do scanning we can do hacking we can do literally anything that you want to run as though you are on a desktop so right now you can start your hacking so i mean ethical hacking work through your phone